The next house I purchase is going to be a modular home, but there's some things when it comes to modular homes, I really just hate. I'm just sharing those with you today because if you're thinking about buying a modular home and having one constructed on your piece of property, you're gonna wanna know these things because they drive me freaking crazy. I think one of my biggest gripes when it comes to modular construction is the market confusion of what they truly are. Because everybody in their brain, when you hear modular, they think a manufactured home, which is built to HUD specifications. It is not the same as a modular home. A modular home, is built to traditional building standards. They're gonna go in line exactly as it would with a traditional stick built house. And sometimes they even exceed those building standards and they're not the same exact product. But here's another problem that comes in with that confusion. So I had a friend of mine that was going to buy herself a modular home and she was on a lot where they sell manufactured homes and modular homes. When she was walking through the lot, he was saying anything that you see on this lot is a manufactured home can be turned into a modular home. And I'm like, how is that even possible? So he kept trying to sell her on this and he kept saying, well, you know, anything you see here could be modular because we can add modular components in it. And I said, well, does that make it a modular home or is it a manufactured home? He's like, no, it's a manufactured home, but it has modular components to it. I'm like, how does that even make sense? So when it comes down to the part where we're like walking and we talk into the guy and I said, when we're financing this on the documentation, will it say that it's a manufactured home or will it say it's a modular home when the title comes in? And he said, we'll say it's a manufactured home with modular components. I said, no, 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 no. When you do title work, it either says manufactured or modular. The guy was totally blown away because I knew all this information. And he was like, well, it will say manufactured, but it's going to be built to modular specifications. It's a hybrid. I'm like, what the heck is a hybrid? So whenever you're walking into some of these places and they say that they can turn any manufactured home into a modular home, it is not a true modular home. It is a components hybrid model. It's not exactly what you're looking for. If you're looking for a true modular, don't get suckered into a hybrid model. And now I can see why there's so much confusion in the market. And there should be more standards when it comes to this. Modular home construction has become a lot more popular over the last like five years. And we're going to be seeing a lot more of it in the future. Now, one of the pluses of modular homes is the fact that they construct in a very short period of time. But doesn't mean that you can just order a house and it just comes to your location and you can have it put up in a week or two. The process takes a lot longer than you think. Even though the house is already like pre-made in a factory. And yes, by the time it gets to location, it builds very quickly. The whole process prior to putting the house together takes a really long time. You're gonna make sure that that land is prepped correctly. You're still gonna have to have a foundation put on the property. You're still gonna have to hire contractors. It still takes time. And that brings me to my other point. When it comes to approvals, this is one of those things because of the misconception that I talked about earlier of what a modular home is, the approval process can be a nightmare. So you may have restrictions in your area that says they do not allow for manufactured homes. So you bring them a modular construction contract and they're like, no, we already said we can't do manufactured construction. And you're like, but it's built to better building standards. And a lot of times when people have that old mindset, it takes them a long time to understand the construction of it so they won't approve it. Those negative Nancys and old Karens on there always like to say, no, we're not gonna do it. It's built at a factory. We don't do factory housing. I get it. There's there's a certain look that they're trying to maintain in their specific neighborhood, but modular construction looks exactly like traditional construction in most cases, if it's a true modular. Now, that whole rigmarole with getting approved can take some time and some convincing of people, and that is one of those things that I hate about it. If people would get on board with this, we could get modular homes put up in no time, and we could solve a lot of the affordability crisis here in the United States. And even the lenders and appraisers are confused on what a modular home is. So you can go right into your lender's office and say, hey, I would like to build a brand new home and they're all geared up, can't wait to write out that loan. And then you tell them that it's a modular home and a modular home construction and they're like, oh, we don't do those. And yes, they do. They do that. <laughs> because in their brain, they're thinking that a modular home is a manufactured home. And then again, you have to go through that whole process of them understanding what it is. Some of them already do, but a good portion of them have no clue. Now, when you're getting your home loan for a modular home, you're going to have like a new construction loan first. By the time the home is about to close, you're going to have an appraiser that comes through this house several times. And sometimes the appraisers are not always on the same page. Just like I've been saying the whole entire time, when it comes to modular homes, appraisers are confused as well. And sometimes they'll put on their paperwork that it's a manufactured home. Make sure that they do not put that it's a manufactured home on their paperwork. Now, this is going to make a difference because if you're trying to refinance your house in the future, you want to make sure that the title work says that it's modular construction because refinancing 
could be an issue if it says manufactured home because they may not evaluate it the same. Of course, price per square foot, a modular home is going to be appraised a lot higher than a manufactured home. So be on that appraiser's rear end when they're walking through and let them know this is truly a modular home. And then when you go to resale it too, explain that to your real estate agent, make sure that the appraiser that comes through for the buyers of your modular home understand that it's a modular home so that way it will appraise correctly when you go to resell it. It all comes down to the misconception of what a modular home is. I wish that they would do better marketing when it comes to these things and explaining what they are because so many people are so confused about it. All right, this next one is like my number one gripe because this happens to so many of my subscribers. They find the perfect modular home company and they're so excited because they found them online, they already talked to a representative online and they think they're gonna have a house built in no time flat. The thing is, when it comes to the modular home business, for some reason, there seems to be more scams than any other type of home. You can find numerous modular home companies that build these really fantastic houses, but they aren't even a real company. Not only that, when you're starting to look online, they have so many different names for modular homes that they're not even truly modular homes. You have structural insulated panels. Those are called SIPs construction. That also can be a modular home, but that also cannot be a modular home. You have prefab homes, and some of them are modular homes, but some of them aren't. They're not built to really any kind of building standard, and you really have to like go behind them and make sure that they're built to the code in your area. Then you have those hybrids that I was talking about earlier. That's not even a modular home. Then you have the reputable builders that are building modular homes, and they're so hard to find. On top of it all, there's some that are absolutely stunning and gorgeous, but they don't build in your area. And then when you do find a reputable modular home company, and you're really excited, you have it built, everything works out just fine. Then you live in the house for a few months and some little things start happening, like some light switches aren't working, or there's a small leak under one of your pipes in your bathroom, those kinds of things. And you need them to come back out and fix those items. Well, if they're out of state, how are they gonna get to your project? I mean, some states have the new home warranty act, like here in Louisiana, we have that where it covers the new home and they're required by law to come back out and fix it. But if you don't have that in the state, you could have a real problem. Now, the general contractor that did build your house should be coming out and fixing those items or sending a crew out there. But what if that company that is brand new just went out of business or went ahead and went bankrupt? That is very common that they go bankrupt and they never come back and fix those things. So whenever you're looking at a modular home company, make sure they have been in business for quite some time. Make sure that they're building it to modular specifications and make sure that they have a good reputation in the area that you can call them after your house is built if there's anything that happens to that house within that first year. Now they should have warranties on each and every item and make sure you read all the fine print when it comes to those specific warranties. Not only that, when it comes to any new house, there's other warranties that come with it that have nothing to actually even do with the builder itself. For instance, if the windows start leaking inside the windows themselves, that is a separate warranty altogether. So when you get to the closing table, make sure that you understand which items have those warranties and have them make you a list. And it doesn't even matter if you're buying modular or not. You just want to know those things. And for goodness sakes, when you get the microwave and the stove and the oven and the dishwasher, fill out those warranties as well. Everybody forgets to do that. But when your dishwasher goes out that first year and you're like, ah, and you didn't fill out that form, you're going to regret it. So fill them out. Come on, do it. Do it! All right, let's talk about the insurance when it comes to modular homes. I know what you're probably thinking, oh my God, it's probably gonna be super high. Well, when it comes to insuring a modular home, most likely you're gonna probably get a better rate than you would on a typical construction. And that's because they're built to better building standards. So insurance companies love that. In many cases, a lot of modular homes actually have a better fire rating than a traditional home. I couldn't make the whole video bad. I had to share a little bit of good news. <laughs> insurance companies like modular homes. I honestly believe that modular homes are gonna be the wave of the future and we're gonna be seeing a lot more companies making more modular type of homes where they're kind of blending modular construction in with traditional construction to make the building time a lot shorter. We're already seeing it in like apartment complexes and townhomes, but I wanna know your opinion. Do you think that modular construction is gonna be more prevalent in your area or is this something that I'm kind of like dreaming in my head? Honestly, I have a love-hate relationship with modular construction because I really do think that they build a better product when it's done right. My problem is, is that there's so many companies that are out there that are not doing 
doing it right and it's giving modular construction a bad name. But I want to know your opinion in the comments section below. Do you think that modular construction is a good way to build a house or do you think we should stick to traditional building standards that we have today? To watch more videos about modular construction, you're going to want to watch these videos right here. My name is Christina Smallhorn, your real estate whisperer, and I tell you all this because good real estate information matters.